As you read the Gospels, the New Testament, and the early church fathers, they all agreed together that Jesus Christ is the unique Son of God. They all agreed that He claimed to be God. Now many people say, no, no, He was just a good man, a good prophet. Now wait a minute. To say the things that Jesus said about Himself, if they weren't true, then come on, you can't call him a good moral man or a good teacher or a good prophet because if, then everything that he taught was a lie. So I want to walk you through some reasoning here. I first learned of this through C.S. Lewis, and then it was one of the things that literally brought me to Christ. Jesus claimed to be God. Now, it's going to take me several segments to walk you through this. He claimed to be God. Now, his claims can lead to two alternatives. They were either false or they were true. Now, if his claims were false, then that leads to two alternatives. One, he knew his claims were false. Or second, he didn't know his claims were false. Now, if he knew his claims were false, then that would make him a deliberate liar or deliberate misrepresentations of who he was, which would make him a liar. And if he was a liar, then he was a hypocrite. And if he was a hypocrite, then he was a demon. And if he was a demon, then he was a fool because he went out and died for it. But what's the other alternative? That he knew his claims were false or he did not know his claims were false. If he didn't know his claims were false, then that would mean that he was sincerely deluded. And if he was sincerely deluded about who he was, then that would mean he was a lunatic on the level of somebody that called himself a poached egg. And if he was a lunatic, then how in the world could you ever trust what he said and claim that he was a good man. Now the other alternative is, is that his claims were true.